Carl, you gotta do the little thing. You do the oh, little yeah. drop. Making of a mogul. This is how to flip an apartment building one-on-one. -on -one. The case study right now is my apartment building. So behind me is a six unit apartment building that I just bought for 808,000. Remodel budget on this 150 to 175. Back in value when it's all said and done will be about 1.25 million to 1.3 million. So it's about a $300,000 spread. So I'm about to give you a step-by-step -step on how to do this. When you flipping apartment buildings, right, the whole name of the game is getting the rents up. So you don't necessarily have to make the units better to get the rents up, but this property, in order for me to get the rents up, I have to redo the units. And so when you think about the term, people say buy value, add property, think about it is you're adding value for the next user, whether that's a tenant, whether that's the other owner, you're adding value for them. So if you get the rents up, that's adding value. If you turn around and sold it, it will be worth more money. So that's adding value. So bring it into this unit, right? So I'm doing work to this unit. Um, so right here is a video. Tate is finna put up this little video. This is just kind of what it looked like prior to them doing all of the demo work. So when starting out, we had to take out all of the floors. You see that there was paneling. I was hoping that there was sheetrock under here. There was no sheetrock, so we had to take all of that out. And we're just gonna do new installation since it's open. So coming over into the kitchen, you know, the floors were horrible. They had like little pill and stick tiles. So we got all of that stuff up. And in this one, I really didn't want to do new cabinets if I didn't have to, because I'm really, like I said, I'm trying to save money and do the best bang for buck that I can get. But I ultimately, I decided to end up going with new cabinets. But the money saving tip for this one is, instead of paying 300 bucks for upper here, 300 there, 300 there, 300 there, 300 there, what I'm gonna do is just do a shelving unit, get a piece of wood, it'll be floating, it'll look nice, it'll look modern. So that's a saving money tip when you're redoing the kitchen just in general. It saves you, if it's about 300 upper, you got four uppers, that's 1200, say about $1,200 right there. And so on these ones, my hack right now is the Ikea countertop, but I still go with a high-end sink. It's cause you don't wanna make it too cheesy. So in the kitchen, I'm basically redoing everything, new appliances, new everything, just to give it that feel for this unit. Some of the units, I'm not doing that if I don't have to. I'm only doing what I have to do. I gotta keep as much money in my pocket as I can. So the objective is to get the best bang for buck. So walking back through, the whole thing needs to be painted as you can see. So this is bedroom one. This is a decent sized bedroom right here, you know? And so we gotta get new closet doors for this one. So really just gonna paint this. We took the popcorn off of the ceiling just so, cause that, that popcorn, that gives it like an old feel. I'm trying to go as nice and modern as I can. And so what I'm doing to save a little bit of money, especially for this unit right here, or these, this unit, I'm keeping all of the doors, keeping all the door frames. Cause this whole door frame, this whole thing, that's $200, right? And then on the other one, that's $200. In the bathroom, that's $200. So just by me saving the doors and doing what I can to restore them, I'm saving 600 bucks right there. And if I'm saving, let's just call it a thousand bucks in the kitchen, that's 1500, right? Just from those two little tweaks, and then you times that by six, you're saving some real dough. So you gotta think, in the apartment buildings, everything that you do, this little a thousand save here, 500 here, is times six. Come out in here, so nothing, nothing to really see here is dark. This is an older apartment building, so it doesn't have the overhead lights. But where I ran into some issues on this unit, the bathroom. Dun, dun, dun. So what happened is the toilet sits right here. The toilet was leaking. So when we stepped, the bathtub was right here. So when you step right here, you could feel that it was soft. In apartment buildings, always step around toilets, even in houses, because what happens is if the toilet is leaking, it's messing up all of the subfloor under it. And then what happens is it can rot out. You wanna catch this right here, tape for the viewers, man. This right here, this is a beam that was supporting all of this. All of this stuff was just rotting out. You know, this is something that like, I did not know that it was this bad until I did it. So sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. But in this one, I didn't, my initial plan, I was gonna keep the bathtub and just put a new surround on it. But once we start pulling up the toilet to redo the floors, we knew this was gonna be an issue and then it got worse on us. So this is the type of stuff too, when you come up with your construction budgets, you always have to have that contingency in there. And what a contingency is, is just adding an extra, whatever you think it's gonna cost, 
add 10%, add 15%. So you know that when you find stuff like this, this is accounted for, right? Cause it's like, I don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost or it might be a little extra here, a little extra here. So this is one of those things that was a surprise for this unit. So essentially this is a wrap on unit one. I'm getting ready to show you unit four. That's another empty unit we got. In this unit, you see, I don't have to do nearly as much. So on this one, I'm just literally Paint the walls, paint the trim. I'm keeping the floors. You come in here, I'm keeping these floors. I'm keeping these cabinets. I'm just putting new handles, but I will do a new countertop, new sink and new appliances in here. And then other than that, like I said, this one, they already took the popcorn ceiling off of it. So I don't have to do that in this unit. I just need to, like I said, closet doors, paint, just basic stuff. So this is gonna be an easy turn. And so this is what I will say to add just a little hair of information. Here in Portland, you have to pay people in order for them to like move out. You can't just give someone a 90 day notice and you only can raise their rent a certain percentage. Had that law not been effect here in Portland, I just would've raised the rent on this unit instead of going in and doing a bunch of work to it just because it was in decent condition. But given the laws, their rent was $1,000 a month. And this unit can easily rent for 1450, 1500, 1525 ish. So it was one of those ones where literally by paying them $4,000, I can make an extra 500 bucks a month. You know, the rate of return on that is super fast. So I just wanted to give you all that, that little insight on this one here. So walk in to here on this one, what we're gonna do just because we've already seen, like the other bathroom used to look like this, but Right here again, there's a soft a soft spot right here. And so when we pull up the floors, we need to check to make sure that it's not rotted under here because if it is, we're gonna have to replace that. So, but this unit in total is gonna be a lot easier, a lot faster turn. I'm gonna do less to it just because it's already in decent shape. I just wanna let y'all know, this is about to be a series. I'm going in, I'm showing you everything before, after, during issues. I'm finna give y'all all the game. Cause like I said, there's a lot of fake YouTubers out there that they talk about all of this. Oh, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. See, but me, the difference between me is I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna show you that this is my apartment building. This is what I'm doing. This is the hacks, errors that I make. You're gonna be able to sit here and learn from me as if you got somebody right there doing it with you. So stay tuned into this series. It's gonna be a, a, a lot of good info on here. We just trying to, I'm trying to make y'all smarter because I really want y'all to watch this, be inspired, and then be able to turn around and go do what you just see me do. You know, I'm just a normal guy out here. <laughs>